the Panorama team, thank you very much indeed coming round with me. I'm sorry it's took a bit longer, but uh, uh, I've tried my best to keep it safe and make it interesting. So there you go. Thank you very much once again. Thank you.
kyltistä keskiöstä. Suuntaamme kohti itään, katsomaan merellisen kaupunkin näkymiä ja kuulemaan sen tarvitsemaan. Opastus tulee kaiuttimien kautta, joten voitte liikkua seurustella ja hakea virvokkeita samalla kun nautitte raikkaasta ilmasta ja nautitte maisemista. Hei! Hello! And welcome to Sturman's tour of the beautiful Helsinki archipelago. Let's get away from the bustle of the old town and sail south-southeast into the archipelago to see the sights and hear the stories of our city and the sea. Our commentary is broadcast over speakers, so you can stroll and chat and get refreshments from the galleries while you enjoy the fresh air and the beautiful sea. Hiva, Matia, Bon Voyage. Hey, a lot of help with the common law says Brahma to a spot on the street.
Wir fahren nun in den Degerö-Kanal. Ziehen Sie bitte den Kopf ein, wenn wir unter der Brücke durchfahren. Damals war er 5 Fuß tief und 15 Fuß breit. Aber die Bucht ist versandet über die Jahre, sodass die Route nur noch ein paar Fuß tief ist. 150 лет назад люди, которые здесь жили, должны были преодолеть по воде очень длинное расстояние вокруг этих островов, чтобы добраться до города. Вступив во владение Финляндии, Россия перестроила Хельсинки, превратив его в притягательный город с университетом, собором и оживленным рынком. Конечно же, это привлекало людей, и местным жителям стал необходим короткий путь в город. Так и был построен этот канал, правда, после долгих привлеканий и споров с местным советом. В то время канал достигал 5 футов в глубину и 15 в ширину, но с тех пор дно залива значительно изменилось, и сейчас канал очень неглубок. Die Strände unserer Stadt, wie diese zu unserer Rechten, sind im Sommer immer besonders voll mit Menschen, wenn die Tage heller werden und sich die Ostsee erwärmt. An den heißesten Tagen haben wir Temperaturen um die 30 Grad Celsius und das Wasser liegt circa bei 20 Grad Celsius. Der Arktis so nah zu sein, bringt längere Tage. Die Sonne geht um 11 Uhr unter, nur um um 3 Uhr morgens wieder aufzugehen, um die stinkige Wurzeln, giving residents so much pleasure. New York's fishing, water skiing and cruising from island to island. In winter, the moorings are empty, as the boats are lifted out of the water and stored on land. Ja, 
Helsinki's famous 52-acre island zoo that we think of as a world on one island. You'll find more than 1,000 plant species here and more than 150 animals in habitats that range from the cold northern tundra to humid rainforest. We even have endangered species like the Asian snow leopard. Business 364 days of the year. It only closes on Christmas Eve. Giant sehen Sie zu unserer Linken Parkesari. Helsinki's berühmten 52 Morgen Insel zu, über den wir gerne denken, er sei eine ganze Welt auf einer Insel. Sie finden dort mehr als 1000 Pflanzenarten und mehr als 150. Edessämme on jäänmurtajia laitureissaan. Nämä ovat Itämeren supersankareita. Kun veri jäätyy talvella, ne ovat välttämättömiä laivaväylien pitämiseksi avoinna. Vahvat moottorit nostavat aluksen keulan jään päälle ja sen paino murskaa jään altaan. Ilman niitä elintarvikkeita ja muita tavaroita ei saataisi tänne talvella meriteitse. Вернулись в залив, где снова можем понаблюдать за перевозочным транспортом. Слева Сильвия Лайн, которая плавает в Стокгольм, и справа The Viking Line, которая курсирует и в Таллин, и в Стокгольм. Каждый день эти, как мы говорим, рабочие лошадки моря перевозят людей через островные архипелаги и Балтию, даже несмотря на ледяные глыбы. Это ледоколы класса A1, для которых замерзшее море отнюдь не помеха передвижении. Nyt lähestymme lähtöpaikkaamme kauppatoria. 
Edessämme avautuu näkymä Helsingin empire jota hallitsevat Tuomiokirkko, Vaaleansininen kaupungintalo ja oikeassa laidassa presidentin linna ja Uspenskin katedra. Toivomme, että olette nauttineet risteilystä. Muistakaa ottaa kaikki tavaranne mukaan, kun nousette laivasta. Kiitämme seurastanne ja toivotamme teidät tervetulleeksi uudelleen. Jos haluatte nähdä Helsinkiä enemmänkin, voitte hypätä panoraamapussin kyytiin kappelin edestä. Olkaa hyvä ja antakaa meille palautetta TripAdvisorin kautta. Toivottavasti nautitte Helsingin vierailustanne. Now we approach our point of departure. The markets... During the same time, early 18th century, St. Petersburg was founded and that city was made capital. And this changed the dynamics quite drastically uh, because, of course, back then, roads and cars were not developing into more and more of a town. Now, Suomenlinna was a very unique town for Sweden at the time for a couple of reasons. Uh, so the military hierarchy here on the islands made it so that the class divide was very strict. And the classes, they would be kept quite separate at all times. And it was that the king afterwards was the I mean, democracy was not a big hit. And now on this side it only reads Eren's name and his different titles on the other side. Last a siege of at least up to 
one year. And uh, the Swedish defense, they relied a lot on Schwamelina in this war. And uh, now as the Russians came over, they realized this, so they assumed that it would be quite a, a long battle. And as they came in March, this is what they showed that they came by the ice. And uh, so they decided to occupy both of them. But going straight ahead here, we would reach Estonia, uh, Tallinn, and then towards your right. Because during the Russian time in Finland, the Finns were given autonomous rule. So the Finns, they could decide most things about their countries and stuff, and they were kept quite independent from Russia. So this being said, the Russians they assumed that if anybody was declared a war on Russia, they wouldn't work for Finland, uh, as Finland wasn't Russia, but also wasn't independent from Russia. So they didn't see this as a threatened state. Uh, that's why they.
So black I don't see you.
Now we take a couple of steps closer. And if there's a chance, we will let people go uh, past the back. But I would like to tell you a heroic story. And as all good heroic stories, this one begins with the coming of a king. Now, for change's sake, I'll make you the king. <laughs> so, you have arrived in these crowns. You have conquered the wooden fort on top of that hill. Please around in victory. Very good. Now, and you have just captured the fort on top of that hill. Yeah? Now, you can't see the fort because the house is in the way. And also because you have burned down the fort. But you have won a massive victory nonetheless. And how does a good king celebrate? Party. And what do we call a medieval party? Feast. A feast. But do you see any meat lying around? Please don't say yes. No? All right. Then we have to go for a hunt, yeah? Does a king hunt on foot? No. Then first, we have to jump on our horse. <laughs> so, Greek, I will be perfectly honest with you. This is more like a pony. <laughs> Don't jump off the wall. And we start riding around there. So we start going. Here we go. And we look to the left. And we look to the right. Still riding. And suddenly we do come to a stop. Because we hear a rustling in the bushes. Can we have some rustling? The king, he doesn't know what it is. So at first he thinks maybe this is another Estonian counterattack. No, says the king very loudly. <laughs> then he figures, maybe this is just an evil spirit. No, No, says the king to himself for no reason yet again. <laughs> but then he feels a cold fear rising in his stomach. And he thinks, maybe this is my angry wife coming to look for me. <laughs> no, luckily for you, it is not. But it is the hero of our story that pops out his head.